Indie Music Live, episode 152. What's up, everybody? I am JoJo Keys, as usual, sitting here in Rochester, New York. Beautiful, wonderfully gray and cold Rochester, New York. Sitting here with my partner, David, who's in nice, sunny Phoenix, Arizona. How you doing, my friend? Oh, the stock market's down. The crypto market's down. It's time to go all in. It's like pocket <laughs> aces right now, man. Pushing all in. Now's the time to buy. If I had a dollar to my name, I, I would. But <laughs> And then, so we got this guest tonight, this guy, Big Greg, who we promised him every three and a half years that we would have him on the show. So time's up. Three and a half <laughs> yeah, years. Yeah, we'll be talking to him in a few minutes. And uh, yeah. until then, we have the lovely <laughs> Loopy, a.k.a. Chris Swan. Chris Swan. Lovely. That is so sweet. Are you done watching your porn? I am. <laughs> and I put on my uh, my one clean shirt for this show tonight. Yeah, you just got banned from a bunch of Facebook groups, right? I did. I'm banned from all Facebook groups for the next day. For, uh, God only knows why. But uh, I don't think it's because of the porn. <laughs> I, I think they don't know about that. <laughs> just kidding. I don't do that. Now, is, is are you making porn or... Just watching it. Why are we talking about you? <laughs> Just storing right? eight terabytes on your computer. I don't. I don't do any of that. I just comment in a Facebook group, and they get mad at me and uh, kick me out. What so, were you commenting about? Okay, well, we'll find out later. Let's go yeah, ahead. Yeah, music. Riveting, riveting conversation. Anyway, glad to be here. Dave, how do you say this name? Ziegler or Ziegler? I'm thinking Ziegler. Uh either or, dude. Uh, I've heard. I've actually heard that discussion before. You know, okay. that, that so, type of, you know, so faith either or, yeah, or I mean, uh, faith Ziegler, 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 cool chicks got a cool song called Sincerely Me. Uh, we're gonna let take a listen to it. Let us know what you think in the comments tonight. We're on Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube live, and uh, let us know uh, what you're thinking. Say hello and uh, tell us how ugly we are. We'll be right back. Hit it, Rob. I watched you run, I watched you walk away I told myself in the end it'll be okay I watched the rain and the cold is driving me insane I told myself I wouldn't drown again I sink deeper and deeper, getting weaker and weaker Can't hold my head anymore, making puddles on the floor Looking at a ripped up photographs, dreaming of a place to go back But tides change with times, and hearts grow with minds Your heart grows in mine Dare you, for you, how and walk to the ends of the earth Over fire and broken glass, until it burns, till it burns That are haunting you like you're haunting me Deep breath, take it in, feel it captivate you Breathe it out, want your tears shine in the light of the moon We have way too much history for you to leave so soon I still love you Cheeks. Oh. 
wings and help me soar across the sky. And if I could. Faith Ziegler, sincerely me. I'm JoJo Keys. This is episode 152. Just wanted yeah. to let you know. Uh, we are going to be taking a little bit of a break over the holidays. We'll be getting our last episode is going to be December 18th, and uh, then we're going to be coming back uh, the very first week of February. Um, so we'll be missing out. It's the first break we've taken in about three years, so I think it's well deserved, right, Dave? I agree. Yeah, it's very well deserved. YouTube's blowing up. Uh, go over and say hello to everybody on YouTube. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for hanging out with us, um, Chris. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about the face, sir? <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I can that, but yeah, I I, we'll ask her later. Um, man, really great song, really, really pretty song. The production's awesome, dude. Like the all the vocal stuff, um, and the background vocal stuff, kind of the Enya type production thing. It's super cool, man. And uh, the words are really good. Um, you know, again, this isn't music that I listen to regularly, but it's good it's quality her voice is awesome production is great um and i can see in the right mood definitely putting this on and chilling out and uh drinking some cocoa cocoa <laughs> yeah i don't know diet cocoa i'm on a diet anyway um yeah i really liked it uh i i think I, I would love to hear more of her stuff i really like her production and her sound so. Yeah, she may or may not be on a short list of people I'm going to try to get a hold of for next year for featured artists, just FYI. So, Dave. Cool. I'm a little torn on this one. I, I think at the end of the day, it, you know, it's uh, it's kind of an artistic debate here because as I'm listening, I was remembering some of the comments that I made about some of the rap tunes that have come in uh, to Any Music Plus where my critique of it was it really just felt like it was a poem with just a little background music going on that wasn't really developed like it wasn't that far of a stretch just from like a, a poetry slam or just speaking just with a little melody in the background um that's just what i was feeling kind of like it, it i agree with everything you said uh chris but i i was just waiting for it to kind of come together i guess and it never did. So I was like, well, all right. So, I mean, it's very nice. It's like, I like the lyrics. She has a very nice voice. It was a nice soundscape created there. But as a song, to be like played on radio or something to like continue to listen to over and over. Um, that's just what I would look for is just to maybe develop the, the soundscape more to have it be more of a player like in this in the song i guess that's just what i was feeling you know yeah cool. could, yeah does it make right. sense or yeah definitely it is kind of just one like you know uh what is it stream of consciousness, consciousness sure. kind of thing yeah and, and it it's art and it's up to her what she wants to make you know i'm, yeah. I'm not saying it's this is not a right or wrong none of this yeah. stuff is like right or wrong I, that's just what i was feeling as I was listening to it. So, yep. You're always wrong, Dave. No, well, you know, people like it though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, this is the time of the night. We bring in our featured artist, going to Rob just a split second to change up the shot. And, uh, Big Greg was one of the, um, one of the early episodes that we were having that we, uh, did on the show. I, I believe that, uh, it was probably before Rob came along, so pre thirty three, something like that. Pre hit, and, uh, and uh, it's one of my favorite songs ever. We played the song "Like a Stripper." <laughs> <laughs> that is Big Greg, funny. how you doing, man? Thanks I'm, for being here. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Finally. Yeah, yeah. So not only did we wait so long to have you, but uh, I messed up and and uh, <laughs> really threw you off last week. So that was my fault. But uh, we're not here, we're so. not worried about that. That's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You're a nice guy, man. You're you're fun to hang out with. Uh, we've been having fun for about the last half hour. Uh, so I told you this is where I want you to give your elevator pitch of who you are and you know what what you are doing with your music. Um, you know, like 30, 40 seconds, and then we're going to check out Oh No, which we listened to recently on the show. We'll come yes. back and get deeper with Dave, so go right ahead. Hey, um, everybody out there, my name is Big Greg. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a hip-hop artist, signed to Manifest Music, um, along with some artists like uh, L.A. Truth, 
and our DJ, DJ Easy Ruck. Uh, we're based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I got a new single called Oh No. And if you're a fan of the show, you've probably heard it before. But I can't wait for you to hear it again. Oh No. It's yeah. a hit. It's a hit. Cool. So we'll check out Oh No. Let us know what you think in the comments. Share this video out. We'll be right back. Hit it, Rob. Mm, yeah. 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 Hey, he said she got a man. Mm-hmm. Said he doing what he can. Mm-hmm. He sound like a good man. Said he doing what he should. Mm-hmm. Try to take her out the hood. Mm-hmm. He said he treat her real good, baby girl. But your man ain't got no dough. He sick and tired of him, ain't got no more. He ain't getting paid, ain't got no show. And when I hit the stage, they go from bro. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He looking through your phone, that's a no no. No no. He gon' see them texts that I sent you. Thank you. And all them different places that we've been to. Been to. Yeah. By the way, where you been to? Been to. Feeling like a week ago it's been to. Been to. He gon' try to buy you a Benz too, a Benz too. But he can't pay your rent too, rent too. He listen what you into, into. But I can't do that. Do that. You already knew that. Now he begging for a second chance, already blew that Yeah, I'm the man, say the least Throwing money while your man pay the least Baby girl, I ain't telling you to cheat I'm just saying, make the call, we can leave she got a man, mm-hmm. said he doing what he can mm-hmm. He sound like a good man, said he doing what he should mm-hmm. Try to take her out the hood mm-hmm. Said he treat her real good, baby girl But your man ain't got no dough He sick and tired of him, ain't got no more and when I hit the stage, they go front row. Oh no, you ain't gotta work, gotta work in my room like you ain't got a shirt, got a shirt. Matter of fact, he ain't gotta work, work. You looking at me funny like this ain't gotta work. Oh no, I told you how to man. man, ain't too many people that can do it like the man. man. White on white, we can do it like the clan. clan. And take it to the ceiling, we can do it like a fan. Oh no. Tell me how to top that. Top that. Stop telling me to stop that. Stop that. King, hold on to your top that. How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Finally, the deeper with Dave jingle is gone. Been trying to get rid of that thing for like eight years. Uh. <laughs> All right, man. I got a bunch of questions for you. So uh, it's, they're going to be kind of all over the place. The first one I, like we were chatting before the show. Um, I mean, you've been making music a long time and you wow. said you used to produce and mix and do all that yourself. Uh, but now you just go to a studio and have everyone handle it. So what, what caused that transition? Was it just like budgetary reasons or you just uh, explain? I started off on my own um, and I was in like college. I was in my dorm room recording with like a little headset microphone, like a cheap yeah. one, like $2. Like, it was cheap. That's all I could afford. So um, uh, I guess when I moved to Charlotte, I finally made like one more mixtape, which is one that I mixed and did out on my own. It was called Last Chance. And I was like, I'm going to have to go out here and get a regular job, um, you know, if this music doesn't work out for me. So I'll make this this mixtape called Last Chance, and if someone picks it up and likes it and helps me out, then I'll run with it. If not, then that's it. And uh, that's when Manifest Music uh, heard this, this CD. Oh, wow, man. Awesome. Yeah, and, and they got up with me, signed me right away, and then that's when we start paying to make real <laughs> sound and music instead of the kitchen music. <laughs> that's awesome, man. So what, were you like kind of ready to just leave the scene completely? <laughs> I was not ready, but I was trying to be an adult. <laughs> <And> just, <laughs> so, just like, like you were in this headspace, you're just like, I'm just going to give this one last push. And if, you know, someone more. catches on. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's what happened. That's like serendipity right there. When, you know, when you think <laughs> back, it's like, Hey, I guess it's meant to be. I am supposed to make more music. It happened right. right there. Yeah. Next one, man. I'm, uh, I know Chris Swan would have some thoughts on this. Uh, Maybe we should can chat on his point of view after, but you talk about like, you know, positivity, clean lyrics, you know, as part of your message and just the way that you uh, produce your music and everything. I'm curious, is that, is that a reaction to 
the negative connotations that are out there or is that just what you like to make? Like, that is it is, that simple? That is honestly solely based on, um, on the way I was raised. Uh, I grew up in the church. I heard mm-hmm. you guys talking about the Christian stuff earlier, but I grew up in the church and uh, I started with music, um, playing the drums. The church needed a drummer. My parents started the church. So yes, they are pastors. And uh, they needed a drummer, so I started playing the drums for the church. And, I mean, I grew up literally in the church, and so that was all I knew. I didn't even know hip hop music when I was younger. All I knew was uh, like uh, the gospel, gospel music, and um, so that's what molded me into. And also, when I did start rapping, my parents were like my first fans, my first two <laughs> fans. So I couldn't yeah. play. I was only playing to like to ship it back to my parents. It's not going to happen. Uh, right. And then, and then you sent them the video for like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, mom, this is what I've done. Don't know. even start. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so based on them being my first fans and growing up in the church, it, that was the only way I could could really go the people that have my back the most are people from my church you know so so cool man yeah yeah so the other the other thing you said uh, i've i've spoke on this in the past about whether it was fine art or um making music like it's such a cathartic process like I, i know it was for me where i just i couldn't get the song out of my head and i couldn't be at peace until it was done and even wow. like with a painting or a drawing and stuff. And uh, like you, you kind of touched on that in this interview at uh, with Level 21. I mean, is that, do you, do you feel the same way or is it something I do different? Feel, no, I feel the same way. Like, honestly, if you sat with me while I make a song, I mean, I start off by making the hook. And if you, if, if I get a hook just the way I like it, I'll sit there and listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> Hours of time before I move on. Like, okay, I got I to gotta finish this song. Yeah, and then I'll, I can stay up. If I'm doing something else in this world, I get tired of reading. I fall asleep. But if I'm if I'm making a song, I can stay up until the end of time until that song is done. And yeah, even, yeah. Even now in the studio, I don't I don't leave the studio until the song is done. Is Another that- kind of an extension <laughs> of that an extension of that point, man. I've uh, I took this approach. It was almost kind of subconscious. Like it wasn't really premeditated where I, when I was mixing like, you know, a hundred times on the same song or even like doing a guitar part, like 50 times, I knew at the time I'm like, I'm willing to get sick of this during this process because I know I'm going to enjoy this for 50 years. Right. 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 That's even, even if it was like lower level budgets, like I, it, it's important. It's like this art that I'm once it's done I move on. I'm not going to probably not going to come back and remix anymore. And on top of that, I only listen to my own stuff like a few times a year because <laughs> I, when I do listen, I want to experience like the freshness of it that I used to have way back in the beginning. It's Same like, way. What? really? Right, <laughs> Same cool. way. You know, and you know, it's other people, if someone compliments, like I post it, someone says, man, that song, that was a good song, man. I have to go back and listen to it to hear. I can almost feel like I can hear it from their ears. I, right after I know, but with the long me. break, you can appreciate it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just, that's been my experience. Uh, that's true. How about you, Joe? You like that too, man? What? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wait, Joe funny. turns off during this interview. He just like shuts down. No, I, I think I caught. Yeah, real quick. Like I'm trying to get into that too. Like bring back the the passion with it. You know, I get so frustrated recording and trying to write and make it sound how I think it's supposed to sound. Do you take a back. long break though? After like when you mi- finish a song, do you like? Oh yeah, yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. Like, okay. yeah. I'll obsess about it for a few months and then I'll just completely drop it and won't listen to it for years. Cool, man. Um, website is biggregplk.com. Yep. That's where you can see his uh, videos, photos, newsletter, and the awards. He's won some regional awards in the Carolina. Um, yes. You could see him holding this giant statue with a huge <laughs> smile. It's glorious. Oh, they, uh, said I was, they said I was about to cry when I gave that, uh, but that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true all right but shout out your uh social media handles man 
And she, uh, I tried to make it very easy. They're all the same. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, um, Twitter. It's all Big Greg PLK. That's B-I-G-G-R-E-G-P-L-K. Nice, man. Hey, pleasure chatting with you. It sucks. It, it, you know, it's been three years. I know Joe has, me- he has mentioned you throughout the years. He's like, yeah, my, I think I'm going to talk to Big Greg, bring him in here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, yeah, it's all this I time like I, has. I helped build this place because I was like one of the first. Man. I know, man. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Right. He checks in the mail, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, the we'll get the check out, man. It's coming. <laughs> trust us. Seeming that I've never given my address, I don't know if I believe that. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a, a, an Amazon <laughs> drone. We'll drop it off. All right. We're going to move on, Greg. Uh, we'll have you back as a critic, though, for sure. Please next, do, next man. Week. I can't uh, wait. I can't wait. You can be Thank the you. next Chris Swan. I mean, I can't wait. Be? No porn, but yeah, I'll be there. I'll do it. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, Rob, if you're ready, we're going to queue up the next tune, man. Uh, it is called Skin to Skin by the Lionfish. Let's do this right there. Swing it around. Right, right there. Looking at you, looking at me, looking at the clock on the back wall of this coffee shop. One more time, you get out so we can take off. Get on with this over. Skin to Skin by the Lionfish. Fun tune right there. Is, uh, again, it has a little fish flavor to that. Um, maybe uh, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. I'm going to say it first just in case Chris wants to say it. Maybe a little even Jimmy Buffett flavor in there. There's a lot going on. I think the vocals were too quiet, man. I really do. Like They were just a little too buried. And I think this style of music also begs for more vocal harmonies. I didn't hear any harmonies. Like in, in any part of the vocals in the whole tune, and I, I'm, I'm curious why. Like Chris, I, I don't get that. This one, did you? Go ahead, Chris. Tap. Chris, you didn't you didn't review this one on the site, did you? No, <clears throat> no, this wasn't one of them. But um, yeah, everything Dave just said, and uh, I think that you know recording could maybe be a little better quality, but at the same time, I know with the jam band kind of vibe. Sometimes, you know, you just want to get that live yeah, kind of it's recording loose. It sound. Loose. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, for that genre, I think it makes it makes it makes sense. You know, it's got good energy and all that kind I, of stuff. I was getting a real like galactic vibe from them. Right. You remember that group? Yeah, I remember them. It yeah. does sound New Orleans yep. jam band. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. And a little Zydeco, a little yeah, yeah, you know, it's fun too, though. Yeah, yeah I think Marty thing. was the one that did the review on the website. Which you can check out. So it's uh, probably a good show live too. You can see yeah. in the picture all the instrument, you know, with the horns. I, I like seeing horns live. Yeah, yeah, I go to their Facebook page. They have some cool live live shots. 
<clears throat> so the lionfish. So Chris, you just came out with a new project uh, officially, like the whole thing, right? And then uh, another single, or was that part of the project? Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I just had my CD, Welcome to the Fellowship, came out uh, three or four weeks ago. Had the CD release party a couple weeks ago. That was a lot of fun, and uh, so yeah, just been kind of doing doing that, promoting that, and playing live a little bit. And then yeah, I had a new single that just came out. It's actually Fight Song by Rachel Platten. Uh, it was, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Remember that song? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. a big big hit a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool to do kind of a hip hop version of it. So. Cool. Um, you know, I kind of did like a little bit of a remake of it and, uh, yeah, it's out on my website for free. Chris Swan, hip hop.com. Nice. Oh, I talked over you. I was going to ask you where can people find it? And then you said it. Yeah. It? Yeah. 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 Go grab it. I'd love to hear uh, what you think. It's my first cover song, like, you know, putting it out there. So, uh, so what's yeah. the site again? Chris Swan, hip hop.com. Okay, cool. That's my site. That's officially your 3000th domain that you own it is right? i have a whole bunch soul motivation records.com i am chris swan.com <laughs> uh, there's chris a just in case yeah. Yeah. yeah right right <laughs> yeah. um yeah so uh, speaking of which though a little small milestone for us we uh last month scooched across the uh, 3,000 likes on facebook and uh so that's nice those are all those are like 99.9 organic likes for people to just come without ads or anything. So uh, exactly. that's a nice feeling. Um, and it's starting to grow quicker as well. So and we're also running 50% off any service this month on the website, anymusicplus.com. Use the code XMAS50. That's Christmas 50, if you didn't uh, pick up. What the entire on. month, Joe? The entire month. But <laughs> oh, wait, no. there's more. No, there's <laughs> 50% off. <laughs> So anyway, Dave, any final words tonight? Oh man, good times. Nice to have Big Greg here, man. After yeah, all these years, cool dude, isn't he? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we'll man. definitely be having him back. So uh, cool, everybody. Thanks for watching on YouTube and Facebook and Periscope. None of this would be possible. The triple streaming. Uh, we're not crossing streams. We're just triple streaming. Periscope, Facebook, YouTube would be possible without Robert Hicks, a Hicks video, H I X V I D E O. If you need professional live streaming production, he's your man. So. Uh, We'll be back two more episodes in 2018. We'll see you next week, Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, as always, I'm JoJo Keys. We'll see you later. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Ace says she got a man. Mm -hmm.